Hi, my name is Matt Brown and I'm a solutions architect at Squid. In this video, we're going to continue looking at the actions framework. In the last video, we used the actions framework uh, to add a common user experience pattern to our page where the user can start from a list of account records and then by clicking on an icon, drill into one of those records to see more details inside a pop-up. What we're gonna do here is give the user the ability to not just see more fields from that record, but actually get to a related list of data um, that comes from another object, the contact object. So working on the page that we already built, I'm gonna add another model that we will call account contacts. We'll connect to the contact object, and I'm gonna deselect this checkbox up here uh, so that we don't need to get um, data when the page loads. We, are, we only need to get that contact data when we actually open the pop-up. I'm going to put a condition on this model that says only give me contacts where account ID is a single specified value and I'm going to leave it blank and make it filterable. And what this does is it sets it up for us to be able to pass in an account ID and then get that account's contacts. We'll add a couple fields like account ID, some name fields, email, and title. Now that we have our model set up, I'm going to go to my table again and click on the row action that we configured before that says account, open account details. In those action properties, I'm going to click on actions where we can see what we've already set up. We show the message and block the UI so the user knows that something is happening behind the scenes, and then we're showing a pop-up. But we're gonna add a few more, um, and we're gonna make sure that those actions take place before we actually show that pop-up. So the first one is gonna activate that condition on our contact model. And it's gonna plug in the ID from the row that we're on in our starting table, which is on the account object. So we can see there's a merge value that we're injecting there, uh, that the ID from that account record. So that sets our, our condition up, and then we're going to query the model to actually go get that data. And then the last thing that we need to do is go into our pop-up and actually add a component so we can display that data. And in this case, we're showing another list, and so a table is a good way to go. So we'll pull a table into the drop zone. We'll add some contact fields. First name, last name, email, title. And let's go see what we've built. So now, if I click on one of these uh, row actions for an account, I should see a pop-up with account details and contacts for that account. And it looks like it's working. So that's a little bit more on the actions framework. Um, that's a pretty common thing that um, Squid users need to do. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.